to attempt a speed record. So yeah, I'm going to use the Gabriel T-Series. Caps the slightest. This is going to be an extended frame because, of course, I've been experimenting with this before. The shadow is located on the trailer hitch, which means that an extended frame will be good. So, yeah, I'm going to use the uplift. Tandem drive, fifth wheel frame. Yeah. Long uplift frame. use the shadow with that kind of frame. Yeah, the thing about this, yeah, the thing about builds like these is trying to experiment. On which frame works best. Yeah, and the longest frame is from the cab over. Well, the conventional cab. So we'll move that. That should be removed as well. Help us take up the weight. Yeah, and of course, we got more things that would take up weight. Like the step. Yeah, the side steps will take up weight. I noticed that in my last video I had a texture problem with the shadow. And I did another reinstall and fixed the te texture problem. taking up too much weight. Thank you. 
Yeah, definitely remove the axle there, because it's, it's pretty much going to be dead weight. Actually, we should keep the wheel there since the axle is attached to the second wheel. Okay, so that's what I found out. The axle is attached to the rear wheel itself. aluminum real real and then use the fastest engine that this truck has the V8 turbocharger race long block and of course adjust the final drive so this is going to be the yeah, this is going to be a longer unit because, of course, I found out the Jato comes detached when I use the shorter frame, so I'm going to use the longer frame. Yeah, and remove the brakes since the brakes take up weight. So make sure to experiment with everything I can and adjust the final drive to its highest setting. Okay, let's see. Might need a lower final drive since the higher file drives are better for acceleration, but you want a lower file drive for top speed. Yeah, why haven't I remembered that? That's just silly, man. Yeah, a lower file drive means more top speed.
speed the brakes, or the mud flaps, let's say, to take up weight. Although we do need the, yeah, actually we might need that, since we want to be able to have it be pushed. So yeah, this is the main frame, and of course the smaller one is going to be a pusher unit. And luckily, I already have a truck that was made for this occasion. Alrighty, so I'm going to start off with this thing, the pusher. And when the pusher reaches a certain speed, I can engage the main unit itself. Okay, so first things first, we need to remove the cab. Cab strut. Yeah, and that thing. Yeah, the exhaust mounts. Add in an engine, the same V8 engine, except remove the brakes since they add weight. And of course, remove the tail light mount. We do need the tail light mount for the front unit. Yeah, once you got the same final drive. Yeah. Good to go. Okay, so there's turbocharger. Race long block. Put in nitrous in both units since it'll help improve the performance. Okay, and of course, gotta adjust the final drive. So. We already have the final drive adjusted for that one. So all we need to do is engage the thrust. Thrust is engaged. Here we 
go. We have liftoff. Not quite. So let's try again with both frames being the same. Alrighty, so both frames are the same. So let's engage the thrust. Yeah, not yet. We need to re reach the maximum speed first. Okay, so when this unit runs out, we'll switch to the other one. Here we go. Let's try again. 
wasn't supposed to happen. One of the rockets sagged during testing. Since the engine takes up weight, might as well get rid of the engine. Since you only need the shadow itself. Might as well get rid of the fuel tanks as well. Since they're not needed either. Yeah, only this unit needs the engines. This is the pusher. Yeah, that actually is fine without the pusher units, so we don't need the pusher. Yeah, and of course, having the engine is just unnecessary. So let's switch to the cab over day cab frame. Yeah, make sure we remove the engine. Don't even need the cab itself and exhaust them. And the fuel tank is not needed as well since it takes up weight. Yeah, it's the beauty of experimentation, trying to figure out which works best. So I already Topped out at 440 without the engine itself. So yeah, remove the fuel tanks since they take up weight. <clears throat> yeah, and of course we're gonna put in aluminum rims since they're lighter. Yeah, and get rid of those things since we don't need the air tanks, they take up weight. And here we go, we're off. Oh, let's remove the rear taillight frame. Yeah, it takes up weight. Anything that is dead weight will be removed. So let's go. Yeah, let's 
so we have no engine whatsoever. So let's get it ready. Well, aside from the shadow. Here we go. This is it. Oh my good golly. We nearly made it to 600 miles per hour. actually beat YVR's record. Let's try the bias plies. Bias plies be better. That was still the same. smaller tires. The smaller heavy duty tires. to 571 miles per hour. Now let's see if we can go faster. While pushing another one of these. trying to hit the 600 mile per hour mark. Here we go. miles per hour yeah I actually hit 600 yeah and I only did it with 
two trucks. So yeah, it's possible to reach 600 miles per hour. So yeah, a pretty cool experiment. This might be the current fastest vehicle in BMNG drive right now, at least in vanilla form. So yeah, it's completely possible to reach 600 with a truck. At that speed, it's pretty much unstable. But that's not what you're here here to see, right? You're basically here to see crashes. I must say. Yeah, by the time you hit 670, it becomes rather glitchy, so it's not possible to hit 700. But still, fastest vehicle in vanilla. Let's crash some trucks. Let's crash. Ooh, yeah. Did you see that? Let's watch that again in slow motion. That is such a satisfying crash, man. closely Ooh, man. Oh, that's what I'm talking about that's what you came here to see crashes so yeah if you enjoyed this video why not check out my video where another video where I attempted to beat YBR's record with a bus and you know the drill by now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest Racer Simulator Productions videos. Although, to people who already subscribed to my channel, all I have to do is like and comment. So yeah, I made the current fastest vehicle in BeamNG Drive. And I managed to top it out at 670 miles per hour. So yeah, this is Bandito signing off. Catch you guys next time and peace out.